A Utah County woman is recounting an intense experience when she got stuck waist deep in the mud at Utah Lake for more than two hours before search crews rescued her. Terrifying. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher explains how she got stuck and shares a message for others tonight. That woman, Autumn, says that she and her dad came out here to the Mill Race boat ramp and launched out into Provo Bay. And when she went to get out of the boat, that's what she says the ground sucked her in. Yeah, this is a very popular spot here. From here, it looks like, oh, yeah, that'd be easy. Just follow this out there. Well, when you get out there, the main channel is hard to know exactly where it is. And that's the problem a father and daughter ran into Sunday evening. The Utah County Sheriff's Office says navigating their boat in deceptively shallow water. When the boat became lodged, they got it unstuck, but little did they know that wouldn't be the worst of their challenges. We were fighting the current and the shallow waters. And I'm like, Dad, I just want to get out. As soon as I stepped out of the boat, I was already sinking and I was able to pull my legs out to go another step, and I just went further. 19-year-old Autumn says she ended up waist deep. They called 911, and Autumn waded in the water and mud in thin leggings for more than two hours. Hypothermia began to set in. Search and rescue found her, then worked to unstick Autumn while staying clear of the mud themselves. They dug around my feet, grabbed the bottom of my boot, and were able to pull it up onto a backboard. I was really scared because I didn't feel anything in my legs that I was gonna lose feet or toes, uh, but none of that happened. And I'm so thankful for the rescue crew to be able to get me out in time. Autumn took a short trip to the hospital where they gave her the all clear. For anyone coming out here to fish or duck hunt, it's truly no joke when the signs say boats are getting stuck, launch at your own risk. Autumn can tell you that firsthand. Always be careful. Like, you never know if you'll get stuck or hurt or break a leg and you're out there without cell service. I was even lucky to even have cell service to call 911. The Utah County Sheriff's Office says that in some of these areas, there's only two to three inches of water. And because of the tall reeds, it makes it hard to see. And that's why a lot of people will think it just looks like solid ground. At Provo Bay, Lauren Steinbrecher. Fox 13 News, Utah.